Imagine a world where our clothes are becoming our new best friends and will protect us from daily society influences as stress, depression, and can even help with concentration disorders. It sounds like an unlikely story that could only exist in the future, doesn't it? Well, what if I told you that that future is already here? Look at them. They're moving and reacting to our feelings, our emotions. And I can hear you think, why would I like to have an intelligent piece of clothing? But isn't it just awesome to see that our clothes are becoming smart enough to communicate with us and that they can actually adapt their form and color to our emotions? You just experienced a small taste of brain interface fashion. And today, I would like to take you on a journey. Why is technology everywhere, but not in here? Why is the fashion content still in 2D, Why we are living in a 3D world? Why does it seem fashion is standing still, while the world of technology is moving so fast? So how can we implement the latest innovations of different fields in fashion. The digital revolution opens a new world of opportunities. It forces us to rethink garments, textiles, and the fashion industry as a whole. This one you might already know, it's bright. It's a dress that can change from color depending on your mood. It's one of our silhouettes of the Fashion on Brainers collection. This collection is examining the link between our brains and fashion. Emotional Mask is more of a fashion tech science piece, a research on how we can present emotions in fashion by translating the brainwaves in morphing fashion. It's a way to investigate new beauty ideals and aesthetics. Will morphing fashion be the next virtual surgery? Who knows? So we have found a new way to express ourselves. It will lead to a new way of communicating, but without words. This is MindLight, a more practical future tool. It gives you real-time neurofeedback on your state of concentration. So with this smart jewel, you are able to train your brain to concentrate. Interesting for people who want to work less, but more productive, or to help persons with a concentration disorder. We also integrate and work on smart textiles. All our collections, for instance, are coated with nanotechnology. It makes your textiles hydrophobic. So it's water relevant, UV protected, and it can't get dirty anymore. And soon, also odorless and antibacterial. So we are constantly seeking for solutions for the future, but also today. OK, we have been talking about interactive fashion and new materials. But what about how we consume fashion? We consume fashion every day by buying it, wearing it, but also by looking at it. This is how we look at fashion today. Through magazines, at 2D images to spot the latest trends, check out the new collections online. We go to fashion shows because there we get a 3D experience. We can see the fabrics from close by. We see how the fabric falls around the body. But actually, the way we look at fashion is getting a bit old school. I mean, Fashion in the digital age needs a new way of presenting it. Today, we are living in a physical, digital, virtual, and soon also in an augmented world. 
So we need to bring fashion tech alive in these four dimensions. We already have a lot of technologies here. Like, for instance, think about uh, augmented reality, virtual reality that we can use. But why don't we do that more often? I mean, with these tools, we can create totally different experiences. Mm. My challenge in this started last summer at Fashion Week Amsterdam, where we created a virtual reality experience of whole our uh, Fashion on Brainwaves collection. But imagine that all the fashion brands would directly design digitally, that they would simulate their collection first, which would cause that they can get direct and more accurate feedback from their customer. So in the future, we could eliminate the overproduction, and it's already one step further to a sustainable fashion. But still, though, I think that virtual reality is still an intermediate step. It's a pity, it's a pity that we are depending on these Google Glasses, and that we are not really in the here and the now. We are human, human beings, and we like the things like tangible and lifelike. So, I am very proud to present you today the interactive runway. Especially for fashion tech, we have created an interactive hologram. Um, when you move the hologram, you also see that it's, for instance, this is the color of exaltation, it's becoming transparent. But also the colors are changing if you turn it. With augmented reality and holograms, I'm not depending anymore on time and place. I mean, I can showcase this right now anywhere in the world. So with Yasna Rock, we are bridging the world of fashion and technology together. Today, at this moment, we are building a platform of international high-level partners to make technology visible and useful for our future daily lives. These preferred partners get an exclusivity of one year in their field. So, if you are interested or happy to join, please come and have a look at our booth downstairs. <laughs>